to my channel my name is Winifred I'm just going to get right into this video so I'm going to show you guys what I do for my skin currently I've always had acne I'm sure you guys have seen the videos the pictures everything if you've not seen this I'm sure it's currently playing my skin has been a mess so I've you know been on this journey for a long time there's nothing new here uh, my focus has just recently has just been you know less breakouts and just more management I don't know if I will ever stop having acne I you know that's a prayer but for now my focus is just taking care of my skin making sure like I have less texture and I still have um, hyperpigmentation this is what my skin looks like without makeup I still have a lot of spots dark spots hyperpigmentation I have a little bit of my texture is pretty fine actually um, I have less texture so what that means is that when I'm wearing makeup it's not um, like I don't have a lot of texture on my makeup like you know when you have breakouts you can still regardless of how much makeup you use you can still see your breakouts my breakouts are really reduced which I'm really really excited about I currently work with someone for my skin she's a skincare expert her name is um, her brand is skin with Abiola she really like just helps me with my routine basically what she does is just consult and then you know recommends products that you would use for your skin and all of that basically everything i use is recommended by her i have not tried to buy anything by myself just since i've been working with her for like six to eight months now and i've just seen how my skin has transformed i was so frustrated doing it by myself so getting someone to like help me and just recommend products because she has more knowledge on that area has really just relieved a lot of stress for me so i'm going to walk through my routine from morning to night or i don't know if i should start from night first i think i i find night more interesting okay so i'm going to just walk you guys through my routine from nighttime routine to my morning routine the first thing i do at night regardless of whether i'm wearing makeup or not is to use a cleansing oil or cleansing balm but uh, before i started using this i was using vaseline which is also something that you know i don't mind if i'm traveling and i you know don't have this with me i'll take the vaseline but for the most part i use uh, like a cleansing oil this is a light cleansing oil by the brand rice water bright um i really like this one it burns my eyes a little bit so i alternate between this and the um clairs yeah clairs cleansing oil i do not have the bottle with me but i'm going to insert a picture of it right here i always wear sunscreen so it's very good to just like break down whatever you have on your skin before using your regular cleanser so this is my first thing and then i would go when i wipe that off i usually rinse it off or i would use a um cloth i use this cloth to just wipe it off and um this comes in very handy when i'm traveling i've had it for about six months and i really like it i just got it at um office depot actually a very weird place to buy this but i really like it very soft and easy to it's not harsh on my skin at all after using the cleansing oil i would use this um cleanser i use this or the la roche posay cleanser i would insert a picture of it here or a video so i alternate between both of them but i really love this cleanser it's the purity made simple one step facial cleanser love it this is so calm on my skin because i do have acne prone skin so i just try to use stuff that is not harsh on my skin at all this is amazing it's quite pricey for me but it's really really good like i i see why it's pricey i just went for the bigger size and i feel like this would last me about two months or three months because you just need a little bit to wash your face so after cleansing i use my toner this is the polar's choice enriched calming toner um it has vitamin e and prime rose i was using a toner before that was not as hydrating and abiola recommended this one i really really like this toner this is my third bottle or second i can't remember but it's very good it's for dry skin very dry skin i feel like my skin is not dry like i don't have dry skin but i also just like things that are very very hydrating so um yeah this is a very calming toner i love it i feel like this has really helped um, my skin next thing i'll go in with is this snail the advanced snail mousin essence by cosrx this is a very popular brand very popular product i really like it 
I used to hate it actually because I just felt like I, I like I did not know what it was doing for my skin. Abiola explained a lot of things to me to for me to understand what this product was going to do. It's not necessarily just like providing hydration. It's working with other products to provide hydration to your skin. So I, this is like my fourth bottle. I go in with this one, and after that, and I don't wait for my my products to dry. Um, I just once I'm done with my toner, I just go ahead with the essence and all of that. Like you don't have to wait for one product to dry before going in with the next product. So that's something I do. After doing this, I go in with the um, treatments that I'm using. It depends. I alternate between retinol and niacinamide. I use the Deferin gel as the retinol for like every other night. And then the nights I'm not using this, I would use the Naturium niacinamide serum with zinc i really like this product i really like this product right now i have a very weird relationship with it there's some times where i'm just like mm, you know when i was using it the first few months like i was breaking out a lot just you know and that's what it's supposed to do from what i understood and what was explained to me so i've gotten to like get used to it i alternate with between both of them i would say this is my favorite i don't know it's just more calming on my skin i don't feel like i'm reacting to it and it has hyaluronic acid so i guess and vitamin e so it's quite i i, I like it like when i'm having breakouts i use this and the next day you know like it's my skin feels going to be better so yes the next thing i'll go in with is the elf or the feels facial oil it's cheap i love it it does the job i this is like my six bottle it's quite small um i think I, i'm not sure what the size is okay yeah it is 30 ml so it is small but it's very i love this product like i like how lightweight it is i don't feel like it's too thick on my skin so i really like how it feels and i like how it just mixes with all that products on my skin so this is something that i use and then after using the oil i'll go in with the elf olive hydration face cream i use this um i use the oil first i know like that was a very weird thing because when abiola told me use the oil first before using the cream i was like huh when i used to research on like skin stuff i always used to see people use the cream and then oil but i feel like i prefer the oil before cream actually it's i love it um so i go in with this face holy hydration face cream so it's not very thick so when it's like now it's getting really cold, I will go in with the, okay, okay, <laughs> I will go in with Vaseline, I use the healing jelly, I, I don't know, this one just says healing jelly, so I use this as like my balm over my, over like my entire, just to seal in the moisture on the, when it's getting really cold, but when it's hot, I don't need that because this is like enough. So that's my night routine. You know for the most part i'll just use my balm which is um, my gossier balm which i really love i don't have it right here with me but yes one of my favorites okay so let's get into the morning routine my routine is very similar but in the morning what i do is i would go i would use my regular cleanser and my toner and then i would use this as a like as a like as a like as a lake as a lake I don't know <laughs> i would use this um topical acid if i am pronouncing it wrong i am sorry i don't know i don't know i don't know i really don't know i like it you know like it does what it's supposed to do and i feel like this is definitely a huge factor in my skincare routine because i use it every single day in the morning um this is something that i really don't miss um the only reason i don't like this their, their packaging because i don't know when i'm running out so i don't know when i need to like purchase a new one it's just so annoying but i really like this product i feel like this brand has really nice products and i you know it's really helping my skin so i go in with this and then i go in with my moisturizer i use the la roche posay double repair face moisturizer um i really like this moisturizer i feel like it is you know it's doing what it's supposed to do um nothing i don't know what else to say about the moisturizer it's just this is what i use i really like it it doesn't feel dry my skin feels very moisturized the next thing i go in with is my sunscreen this is very 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 important and i'm not even saying that because you know you need some protection you need some protection but 
I feel like this really helps to lock in the moisture from every other thing I've done in the morning. This like locks in that moisture for me and makes my skin even feel more hydrated. And gosh, the glow, the glow that this gives me. I love this sunscreen so much. This is the Misha SPF 45, Misha Essence or Essence by Misha SPF 45. The 50 SPF 50 was just too dry for me. I did not enjoy it at all. Like it is not just for me. It is it's way too dry, just way too dry. Um, if I was in Nigeria, maybe because it'd be humid there, I would prefer it. But like here, even in the summer, I would go for this. My skin just feels really plump. It blends in so well. I love this product. And yeah, that's pretty much my routine. My routine is very, I think it's very simple in my opinion. I have my cleanser, I have my toner, I have my treatment, and then I have my moisturizer and that's it. I used to be that person that wanted to like do so many things and use this and use that. I don't use that anymore. I currently do not have glycolic acid in my routine. I do not have salicylic acid in my routine, which is very surprising because I used to think I needed to have one or the other for my skin to feel better. but. I do not have that and I really like my routine right now I think my skin is really thanking me for for this very simple routine I'm not overwhelmed which is something that I really wanted um, obviously as my routine progresses as my skin progresses I'm going to be shifting what I am treating I was treating breakouts a lot but I'm currently trying to move into treating hyperpigmentation so this might be the last time I'm going to be using as leg acid some of the things i do also that i feel like has helped with my acne is you know changing my pill case i change my pill case twice a week so every three days um i would use a pill case from sunday to wednesday and then change my pill case on wednesday to the next sunday i'm so used to it now i've been doing this for about two years and that's why i said some of the things that helped i don't think that this is something that changed my you know um, change my entire routine I don't think it's something that cleared my acne I just feel like it is better because my skin is just really acne prone and it can be very reactive sometimes so I just try to change my pillowcase and that thing I do is sleep a lot <laughs> I don't know if it's just cause I just like to sleep okay but I feel like it really helps like just your your body in general I feel like sleep is so good for you so I try to get like minimum six hours of sleep every day every night every night <laughs> um i know that some people will say water i take a lot I, I do drink water i just feel like i was drinking water a lot more when my skin was even horrible and that didn't necessarily do anything but i would say definitely like be hydrated I drink water you know but you know you need to have a good routine you need to know what's going on if it's your hormones just water is not just going to clear your clear your skin i'm just trying to create a very good relationship with this skin i want to make sure that you know she feels cared for and that's just what i do i'll leave abiola's details in the description bar below i feel like she's very good at what she does her price point is pretty good also and you gain a lot if you do not know anything about skincare if you're really frustrated and you want someone that can you know just advise and recommend products and really help you and educate you i think she's the right person for that job all the products will be listed in the description bar below if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and i'll answer what i can i hope you enjoyed watching i don't think that it was supposed to be like oh this is what you should do for your skin it's more like oh this is what i am doing for my skin and this is how my skin is right now so i hope you enjoyed if you did you know please like this video leave a comment um, subscribe if you've enjoyed this vibe so far because there's going to be more videos like this and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Okay, let's get into it. I cannot see, so gosh.